everybody, it's Leroy from Leroy Gaming, and today we are continuing our coverage of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous as it enters Beta Phase 2. And we're going to be looking at a new archetype that has been added to the Oracle class. And this one is unique where it requires that you be an Asimir in order to pick it, and it is called the Purifier. So we're going to be looking at the new changes for this class and uh, see what it looks like. Um, as always, guys, remember, there's going to be timestamps below if you want to navigate to the appropriate areas in the video. Other than that, hopefully you enjoy the content. If you do, keep it simple. Drop that like. And let's go ahead and take a look at the Purifier. So uh, the Oracle Purifier seeks out signs of possession or mind control that manifests from unwilling and often unwitting servants for fiendish corruptors and their mortal minions. A purifier seeks liberation of mind, body, and spirit from the bondage of sin and the taint of the unholy. Now there is a new interface here that they kind of updated, which is a nice improvement. Uh, here you're going to see hit points per level. You're going to see the max level of spells. This is important for new players because they may not always know, hey, what which classes are pure uh, casters, which ones are hybrids. Hybrids will generally only get to get max level four or maybe six spells. Uh, here, this shows that you can get up to level nine spells, which is maximum. You're going to know that your primary caster stat is charisma and that they are spontaneous casters. Uh, that basically means that, you know, whatever spell no uh, spells they know, you're going to have an X amount of uh, casts per day, and you can, you know, cast whichever ones you want uh, in total to that amount, as opposed to like a wizard-like class would have to uh, memorize them individually and they only get whichever spells and whatever amounts that they memorized. So just kind of at a glance helps you with that. Also you're going to see class skills here. So these are the ones that they have their, uh, uh, they specialize in and they get the extra points, uh, extra scores in. So um, persuasion, lore knowledge, or lore, uh, sorry, not lore knowledge, lore nature, knowledge world, knowledge arcana, and lore religion are all of the ones that they specialize in. Now, there's also another neat feature here uh, that may or may not have some bugs. Uh, you're going to see basically the power scale of their physical attributes for melee attacks and also their progression for their spells. So what at what levels they get access to what level of spells as well as what spells uh, they have options to get, gain, which is a big, big deal uh, because this is a, you can do this at a glance before. So let's take a very quick look at their physical progression. And I'll get an I'll mouse over it real quick for you. If you want to pause it, you can take a look. Uh, needless to say, purifiers are not melee beasts. So the progression isn't that great. You know, they only have partial VAB. So as you can kind of see here. And this seems to have changed since the beta. So I don't know if this is a typo. Uh, but it seems to be like one level behind, roughly. We can see here, for example, uh, you know, by level 11 and level 12, you have two attacks. Keep going. And then you're going to keep seeing as you finish out here, there's a third attack. And then by level 20, for example, a purifier would get plus 14 under primary attack, plus 9 under second attack, and they get one more attack. The third attack is plus 4. They really good will save base, plus 11. And moderate um, fortitude and reflex is a plus six. So that's that progression. And when it comes to level, uh, spells at level one, to get level one spells. And so you're going to see his progression uh, towards the top. It's telling you have infinite level zero spells, and you can cast a minimum of three level one spells. Now, depending on your charisma score, you may get more, but this is the minimum. And here are the spells you may choose to access. You're going to see this progression here. And then, for example, level four, we have access to level two spells. And at this point, you get six level one casts. You get uh, three level twos and then access to these potential spells that you pick from. At level six, you get level three spells. And again, now it's six, five, three. So six level ones, five level twos, three level uh, threes and access to these potential spells. Level eight, again, uh, things get pushed down even further. So now level one and twos are maxed out at six plus any modifiers and then five level threes for three level fours and these additional spells. A level five, a level 10 rather, you get access to level five spells. And again, it goes, it keeps extending. So level one, two, and three spells, you get six. 
uh level four spells you get five plus modifiers and then at level five you get three and all these additional spells level six spells unlock at level 12 and again you get level one through level four spells all have six minimum casts uh total that you get to use and then uh, of the level five spells you have five level six three at level 14 you get extra level seven spells so now again you have minimum of six casts at level one through five spells five at level uh, of five level sixes to level sevens i think you see the pattern and these additional spells become options for you level 16 you get level eight spells now you get up to six level spells at six a day each uh and then um level sevens you get five and level eights you get three and then finally at level 18 you unlock the final tier of spells and you uh, level one through level seven spells all six minimal casts uh, six plus level you get five level eights and even three level nines so that is their progression and as you can kind of see here uh, by level actually by level 20 you get six in all of them so you can even get six level nine spells plus so just like every other cast like this they scale incredibly well into the end game all right uh, as far as uh looking at the features big thing to note here they change how they show things so now you'll notice if nothing has changed it'll be just like this so um if something or like a little question mark like this but if you have an x it basically means that this has been removed before in the previous patch it would just be empty but now it reminds you hey this is what you're sacrificing compared to the base oracle and then a the pluses will be uh, things they add and we're going to take a look at those right now do note if you're curious to see about any of the basic features i'm not going to read over them in this very video but uh, you can take a look at the timestamp below i have a full video that talks about uh the oracle class and all the original archetypes and i also have uh, a video that's going to talk about the mysteries uh and the uh, the, the different uh, uh revelations so that's a nice long extended video uh, because there's a lot of these. So again, check those out in the description below. Uh, but let's go ahead and now take a look at what is the same and what's changed. So again, you do get access to revelations, but you notice you're gonna give up three of them. You're not gonna get to pick one at three, at seven, or at nine. According to this, you still get a revelation at level uh, 15 and 19. You get... Um, you still get a mystery you get to pick that level one and again those get covered in that video as i mentioned you do lose additional spells so you do not get the full line of cure or harm spells so you're giving that up and that's kind of a big deal potentially but let's see what we gain instead you also get to pick your oracle curse at level one that's going to give you some flavor now let's see what you gain because so far it's been nothing but losses so you gain Sacred Scourge at level 5 at 5th level. Purifier may channel Holy Power as a Cleric for level to harm evil outsiders. She may use this ability a number of times per day equal to plus 1, 1 plus her Charisma modifier. Interesting. Uh, next, you gain Celestial Armor at 7th level. Purifier Armor takes on a golden or silvery sheen and becomes light as a feather. She also gains Armor Training as a Fighter level 4. Uh, fighter four levels lower than her oracle level 11th level a pure fire against heavy armor proficiency so these are armored oracles that's kind of nutter butter um that's pretty cool uh at level 11 you get sin eater pure fire can consume a curse enchantment or emotion effect by touch as a full right action she can do this number of times per day equal to charisma bonus uh, modifier and must make a dispel check with a bonus equal to charisma modifier against the effect if the check succeeds the effect is negated however the purifier is second for 1d4 rounds interesting so you can it's basically a remove curse or enchantment or emotion that's very interesting so like get rid of a bad debuff uh, they're saying emotion effect does that mean like mind control i'm guessing they could have been a little more specific but that sounds interesting um, you also gain, you know, this talks about the improvement to the armor. But here's 15. What is it supposed to do at 15? They don't mention what happens to it on 15. It only mentions 7 and 14. So they, 11, they must, they must uh, either not be showing it 
Either this is a typo, but I'm going to guess this does improve in some way. They just haven't provided the text yet. You know, beta, word in, work in progress. And then you still get your final revelation. So again, you're sacrificing some of these rev basic revelations. You become obviously more tanky, um, but you're still a caster. So I guess you're just a less squishy caster, which is potentially pretty cool. Uh, very curious to see what these elements end up being. So that's uh, that's the purifier for now, guys. Uh, again, if and when they make any updates, then uh, I'll make another video. But uh, this is, uh, I think, the nice direction that we're heading. Looks like they're adding even more archetypes, uh, subclasses, basically. So it's going to be exciting to see what the other classes are. So definitely like to hear your thoughts on this class in the comments below. Uh, and if uh, I, you're enjoying this content, you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe, hit that like, and let me know in the comments. Uh, this is Lero with Lero Gaming, and I will see you guys in the next video.